Hey guys, today I thought that I'd walk you through installing Node.js on Windows. Um, here I have PowerShell open uh, for a lot of reason, as well as just to kind of show here that Node is not installed, nor is in PM. Okay, and then here is Visual Studio Code. So a lot of the time you'll have an integrated terminal in whatever code editor that you're using. Um, and Visual Studio Code here uh, has, an, has an integrated terminal option that you can toggle on and off, as well as having a drop down of many of those terminals. Um, but in here, you can also see that I do not have NPM installed. Um, so let's go ahead and go to, um, to the site where you can download the MSI. So you'll want to go here to nodejs.org and download the MSI. Um, I would go along with this and do the recommended for most users. Um, go ahead and give that a click and uh, get that downloading. Once you have that downloaded, just go ahead and run the MSI. Um, it's a fairly simple installer. You'll just go through it, accept their terms, read it, right? Um, next, choose your location. In my case, I'm going to have it on a different drive. Let's go ahead and put it there. Uh, the biggest thing here, and one of the biggest reasons I wanted to kind of make this video, is I see several things, several like tutorials and stuff like that online on how to install Node JS on Windows. And the last step always seems to be restart your computer, restart your computer. Um, you don't have to. That's going to mostly be to reload your path. Um, and I'll explain that here in a second. So go ahead through this install and go next, install. <coughs> we'll let it do its thing here. This shouldn't be very big. It's like 50 megabytes or something. All right, so when we're finished here, we'll go in and bring up PowerShell. You'll notice Node, well, we should do it the right way, Node version. Uh, Node does not appear to be installed still. Um, and we can see the same thing here with the integrated terminal, right? Oh, this one did refresh it. Um, and so we might be able to see NPM here. Yes, okay, so this integrated terminal did happen to refresh. But here, um, you can see that it still doesn't think that um, Node and NPM are installed. So to get around this, you don't actually have to restart your computer. You just have to restart your application or whatever it is that's running your terminal. So just go ahead and close out of PowerShell there and open it back up. And once you open it back up, it'll reload your path, and then you'll end up seeing it. Right? There we have Node, and then we also have um, NPM. All right, guys. I just kind of wanted to walk you through that and help you get Node.js uh, installed on your Windows machine. Thanks. Bye.